Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got for you what's in my makeup bag, Disney trip edition. So if you're interested in finding out what I brought makeup wise, stay tuned. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do makeup in makeup and my brushes in this video, and I'm gonna try to also film. Um, no, I'm gonna film the skincare, beauty kind of stuff afterwards. Um, if it's not too long, I'll put it in the same video, but if it's too long, I'll separate it in two. So you may or may not see that portion in this video. And if you don't, don't worry, it will be up soon after. <laughs> so we're going to get started with my makeup bag. So this is the bag that I brought. Um, back up a little bit here. So I don't know what it's called. I think it may be the Weekender. I'm not quite sure. Um, from Sephora. I got it on sale. So it's like, it's a nice size. It fit very well in my luggage. I like the fact that it's flat compared to my skincare-ish kind of bag. Uh, it's got a zipper, zipper all the way around and when you open it up it's got a little hook here. So I had it hooked up to the towel rack that was close to uh, the mirror so that I could access my makeup easily. And it's got two zippers, two compartments, one on the top and one on the bottom. So this is everything. And it fit very well. I didn't have any issues for space or anything like that. So I'll start with the top compartment to show you what I got, what I brought. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I brought is this Marcel CC Cream um, SPF 35. So this I absolutely adore. So I take this out in the summer or I, re you know, I replace it if it expires. It's we're still good. Um, because it's got SPF and I find in the summer I don't like a thick heavy foundation or full coverage. I usually wear something more like this with a bit of concealer and I'm good to go. Um, it's light on the face and the fact that it's got SPF 35 is the reason why I brought it because I had a moisturizer that I'll show you in the second portion. Um, it has SPF 30 in it plus this on top and I wasn't worried that my face was going to burn and I didn't feel like I was wearing thick, you know, um, sunscreen and smell like sunscreen and all like that. So I love products that have SPF in it so it's like a two-in-one and this is definitely a good one and it worked very, very well. I also brought my Benefit Erase Paste. I love this thing. I'm glad I brought it because I had major dark circles and I need to cover, I need some brightness under my eyes. I find the last year my under eyes have gotten worse, so uh, definitely this is something that saves me and it did save me a few times on the trip. I brought the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in Hydrating Primer. So this hydrate, so I brought the small version of this because this, first of all, I had a small version, so it fit very well in the makeup bag, but also because um, I want some hydration. I had a feeling the change of climate from this cold weather we were having to dry airplane air to super warm in Florida. Actually, there was no humidity, which I was expecting it, so I'm glad I brought this. Um, it worked really well. I have. I adored it and it I ended up with dry patches a couple days after the plane ride and this combined with the exfoliating pads or radiance pads I brought from Fab cleared it up in a day. I adored this. So it went on very smoothly and it doesn't it doesn't bother um the makeup. As much as you, I find like if I use silicone based ones whatever I apply on top just doesn't go well. Anyway, this doesn't do that, so I really enjoyed that. Good one to bring. Then I brought, uh, for bronzer, I brought the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So like I was saying um, earlier, actually I did not say this earlier. That was my failed take. <laughs> I brought this um, because I didn't want to bring my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil because I didn't want to break it. So there's some stuff that I made some choices on what I brought based on what can I replace at a decent price if it breaks, right? So um, this is one that I love this, this bronzer and I figured if it breaks I can get it easily back in the drugstore as opposed to paying a lot of money for the Milk Chocolate Soleil that would have broken my heart. <laughs> So I bought this one. I actually ended up not using a lot of bronzer because we were doing a lot of parks and just going to Alda and stuff like that and I didn't feel I needed it because I was getting some sun. Um, so I actually didn't end up using it quite a bit, like at all almost. 
Um, the one thing is I did break, see, it's a good thing. I did break, it doesn't clip anymore, like it doesn't clip shut. That did break, unfortunately. Um, but the powder is still intact. I also brought the NYX um, taupe. It's the blush. I kind of to do a bit of uh, contouring, maybe, because I thought maybe it was maybe a couple nights that we would go out and I want a bit more um, makeup. Um, I, I use it a couple times, not much. I just, you know, but and I, it's not my favorite contouring powder, but again, I did not want to bring my Kevin Laquan super expensive powder in case it breaks, so I brought this. It does the job fine, it's just not my favorite, but. Um, I don't think I used I used it once or twice and that's it. So maybe not necessary to bring it. I brought my favorite concealer. <laughs> um, the in this is the Maybe Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is my holy grail. I adore it. Used it. Just love it. There's I've talked to death about this, so adore it. So I bought it. It is small, love it. I brought this CC cream. Um, this is the Gosh CC cream in Illuminating. It's an it's a moisturizing CC cream. I actually ended up not wearing it because I ended up wearing my Marcel one a lot, so I didn't really need to bring it. But I brought it just in case I wanted something else. I also brought my Anastasia Brow Wiz in granite. Uh, I use this all the time and it's my favorite color. I use them to refill in my mole after it's makeup on top or my brows. I didn't use it much but um, it like this takes no room you know so I brought that. And I brought uh, this. <laughs> so this is the Hourglass Trio of Ambient Lighting Powders. The reason that I brought it to me is say, oh my god you brought that in case what if it breaks? I actually wouldn't mind if it broke because it is so used. I don't know if you could tell, but the dim light almost has nothing left in it. And um, which color is that? The radiant light also is pretty done. The middle one I have barely touched. Because um, I have a full size of the dim light and I didn't want, which I use all the time, but I don't want that to break. So this is this one right here. I didn't want that to break, so I figured if this breaks, I won't be too broken up about it because I have a full size. This is almost done. I don't use that one, and this one's almost done as well. So I wouldn't be too broken up about it. So I still was able to use my favorite powder. Um, yeah. So that's it for the top portion. We're gonna go to the uh, bottom. So the first thing I brought is a one of those clean. You know, you can kind of clean your brushes super quick. Uh, by just kind of rubbing it on that little sponge thing inside. So I brought this because I figured maybe by the middle of the week I'd kind of want to kind of clean out my brushes and I actually did use it for that purpose because you know I didn't bring a lot of variety of makeup and I didn't want to start looking muddy. So I did actually use it for that. So And it's light so it didn't really take much room in my luggage. Okay. I brought my travel size version of the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. I love this to to set my under eyes, and I wasn't gonna bring anything else. <laughs> I brought a beauty blender. Okay, so this beauty blender is supposed to be purple. You can barely tell what color it was before it needs to wash so bad. And it needed a wash before I left. I should have actually brought a cleaner one. Um, and now it just it's desperate for a cleaning. But I actually washed it a little bit with some soap there. And to take some of the stuff out, it worked. But it needs a dip clean. But anyway, this is the purple one. It's Beauty Blender. And I use this all the time, of course. Um, eyelash curler. Nothing fancy. Just curling my lashes. Benefit Gamey Brow, which is the ended up being what I use the most for my brows. Love this one. All right for blush, I brought two. I brought the Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop, which is uh, one of my all-time favorite blushes. I've used this thing to death. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan yet. Um, and then because I, I want something, my blush choice wanted to be, I wanted it to be something that was neutral that I could do with anything. Um, so this usually goes with anything, and if I want something a bit more nudish, I brought the Nude Pop. 
uh, this is zero five nude. I use both. I'm glad I brought both. For highlighter, I brought this one. It's a Bare Minerals. It's the Ready Luminizer in the color the Magic Moment. Um, the reason I brought this one is because it's not only a travel size, but also not breakable. Like I could have brought the Becca ones, but those powders are so buttery that they could break easy and I don't intend on buying a full size one <laughs> so I brought this one and I thought it was also the perfect color because it's more kind of a bronzing more it it looks like it would be bright on your cheeks and dark but it's actually not it blends in very well with your blush and I wanted that because I didn't want kind of like today I'm wearing a more like bam in your face highlighter I didn't want that because we were going to Disney World and I didn't need one of those highlighters, so I brought this one that's a bit more subtle, super pretty, blends in well with your blush. Um, yeah, I love it. Did not break, too. For eyes. So, this was kind of like the weird selection of what palettes do I bring. I didn't quite know what I was going to bring. Um, I brought three, so <laughs> I'm going to move this. I'm just... So I brought, the first one I brought was the Tartlet Tease. I thought this was perfect. It's small, it's compact, it's got nice colors in it, um, doesn't take a lot of room, I could do a few different looks. Perfect for traveling. Good choice. Then I decided to make myself a palette. <laughs> and by make, I mean rip out half the other half of this palette. So this is the, oh my god, what's it called? There's a name to this palette, and I actually don't have the bottom anymore. Um, okay, it's a Bare Minerals Christmas special from 2015, I think. And it's got nice uh, colors on top here. And it also had, uh, I think, two blushes and a highlighter and a bronzer. But the colors were all not right for me. But I like the top part. So I ended up kind of ripping it out, and I don't want it because it was too bulky. It was, like, about this thick all kind of together. I'm like, I'm not going to bring that. It's too thick. But I like this palette to bring, so I just ripped off the bottom, and now I have a little palette. <laughs> yeah, I did do that. Um, I use this a lot too. It's got great shades. Yeah. And the next one I brought is my Naked 2 Basics. I adore this. I it will remain one of my favorites of all time. Um, I paired this a lot with the sticks I'm going to show you, and I find it's really great to just do a quick natural look, especially if you're going to the parks. I'm not going to do a super like shiny makeup or darker makeup like I'm wearing today. It's, it's Disney. So I just want something nice and soft and natural, and that's why I brought that. So I used the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks kind of in combination with the Naked 2 Basics. I used I put this like all, all over my lid and then this is in the copper yeah um, and put the other the naked basics too in the crease that sort of thing I also brought the sugar frost apparently I took it out of here and I used that so when I did like a matte look with the naked basics I'd like just put it under as a um, under eye <laughs> color and as a liner on there and my my on my waterline I can't talk I need water I think I need water Anyway, and it made just kind of like a little pop to the look while still being natural and not too out there for the parks and if I was just going the outlets or something like that. So, recommend that. For eyeliner, I brought three because I figured I'd want neutral colors and I want to pop a color because I always want to pop a color. So, I brought the NARS um, Long Larger Than Life eyeliner. This one is in Rue de Rivoli. So it's a green shade. I use it a couple times. That's pretty much it. And I brought two of the Stila uh, smudge sticks, waterproof. And I brought these because they're waterproof, just in case <clears throat> I would sweat on my eyes. I don't know. Sometimes under my sunglasses, it's possible. And I figured these are not going to go anywhere. And I adore these. I love these. So this is what I wore pretty much every single day. Um, I have two shades. Deep Burgundy, and this one is Lionfish. So, these two. Alright, last two items. I brought my sample size of Stay Down Straight Benefit uh, Eye Primer. Works well. Nothing special. 
Um, I also brought the Voluminous Curving Black for waterproof mascara when I needed it. Um, I actually ended up not using it because I brought the next combo, which I really adored, which was the Roller Lash, which is like holy grail for me. But I'm like, I need something that's not going to smudge if you sweat, if you end up going to the pool and you still have makeup on. I'm like, I don't want to wear waterproof mascara the entire time. So I... Okay, so here's the lipstick. Went down to get it. So it's the Revlon Lustrous. Yeah, super lustrous. Lipstick in 30 Pearl. This is so natural. It looks great on my lips. It's just... Like, it just added enough color that my lips didn't look so white and bare, but not too much. I'm like, whew, you're wearing a lot of lipstick to go out of Disney Park <laughs> type of deal. So I adore this. This lives in my purse. This is why I had to go get it for you guys. Like I said, this is more skincare, hair, that's one thing. Um, I'm not going to show you like deodorant and toothbrush because let's face it, we all know we bring it and we don't need to see it. <laughs> okay, so first thing I brought, and this actually is a I just added them in here now because I finished the ones I brought with me. They are the Kuo uh, Luxury Cotton Pads. These are my favorite ones. They're the only, only ones I use. I brought uh, a few to remove my makeup every night, my eye makeup especially. They were great. I also combined it with... Uh, oh, what is it in here? Yes. Here we go. So this is a little travel little uh, spray bottle that I got, uh, it's a Quo, and I added some of the Bioderma Micellar Water in here, and I just spray it on the little cotton pad, wipe, wipe off the makeup, and good to go. And I didn't think it would work well with a spray, but it actually did, so I um, recommend this, it actually worked really, really well. For my full face, and kind of like, I know I kind of did like a full face removal after I did bring these Sephora uh, wipes. So these are the Ultra Hyd... Hold on, I'm reading in French and trying to speak English. The Ultra Moisturizing and Brightening uh, Makeup ma Removing Wipes from Sephora and they are the rose one for eyes and face. I use this most for my face and they smell like roses. Uh, I'm almost on the pack. They're okay. They're decent. They're not the best out there. But they do the job and they smell like roses. So. I always bring some of these um, on trips. I find them easier uh, than a huge like uh, cleansing or micellar water. But with the spray and this, I was set. So hairspray, I brought two travel size. One, I brought the my my love, Mark Anthony, the argan oil. Um, spray hairspray. I actually ended up not using this because I used the next one which is the Tresemme um, Hairspray. This one is an extra firm control. I adore these for extra holds. So I love the Mark Anthony one for like the everyday stuff. But since we were going to the parks and I needed a long day hold or going somewhere and the weather was doing a number of my on my hair with the heat and... Anyway my hair reacts differently there than it does here. So I needed extra hold. So this is what I ended up using. I actually had two bottles and I emptied one and this one's about, I'd say half full. So love, love, love this. I brought some facial radiance pads. These I actually really like. So I still want to do some kind of skincare routine while I was there because I didn't want my skin to get terrible when I come back. So I brought these along and I brought the small size, smaller compact ones and they worked amazing. Um, I adore these, so this, if I need to do a bit of exfoliating, I brought these. I, that's what I use. I also brought the Vitamin Hydrating Mist. Honestly, I could have left this at home. I brought, um, I, my face was hydrated enough, so I didn't really need this. Uh, so I could have left this at home, but, uh, I use it a couple times at night. Yeah, this was a must. The Ultra Repair Cream from Fab. I love this. I brought a sample size of it. I almost emptied it. Um, this was actually a 100 point perk one. It's almost empty. I use it for everything. My skin needed it um, on my legs especially. That's pretty much where I use it and on my feet. And I uh, love this and I keep raving about it. Need You need this in your life. 
glad I had a sample size to bring. <laughs> For the eyes, I brought the Clinique All About Eyes. I brought this one because right now I'm still kind of in a search for my Holy Grail eye cream. If you have one, please let me know down below that I should try. And I had this as a sample size and it's small, it's compact. I used it. I like the texture of it. Does it do a whole lot like any other eye cream I've tried so far? I'm not convinced. But I still used it for hydration and it worked pretty well on my lips. For my face for the evening, I brought the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief uh, Cream. This is again, this is what I had as a sample size. Um, it's almost empty. My husband also ended up using it a bit because he forgot his cream. So we kind of went through this. There's probably one or two uses left in this. But it was sample size, compact, and it does a decent job. So it's not as good as the moisturizers I use at home and in the evening. They're more intense. Uh, but I do I do enjoy this, so I'm glad I have a sample size to bring. For my hair, I got I brought the Living Proof Curling Defining Styling Cream. I love this stuff. It does a great job. I had the, uh, I think this was again a 100 point perk from Sephora, so I knew I was traveling when I got this, so I kept it for that reason. Actually, I had two, so the first one I used to see if I liked the product, and I ended up buying the full size, and it's now empty. <laughs> um, so I kept this one for traveling, and I'm it's perfect size for that, and I love this cream, so perfect. Then I need a gel, so my gel I use right now is the Deva Curl, but it's a huge bottle. I'm like, what do I have at sample size that I could bring? So I found this Curl Keeper one that I had in my stuff as a sample. It actually worked really well. Um, it did a good job, so I'm excited to actually try it out some more and see if I like it better than the Deva Curl or not. And for the daytime, I brought this Pure Lease. 30 SPF sunscreen, I, a daily moisturizer. I love this cream. I take it out in this in the winter. It's, it's still got a while to expire, which I'm happy about because this thing is expensive. It's like seventy dollars to get in Canada. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I got this through a subscription box. I don't remember which one. I'm so glad I did. Anyway, I love this stuff. This is like the big guns for the summer with combining with the CC cream that I brought that has an SPF 35. We are golden. We are protected. Here we go. And I also use this on my arms at some some points because I am allergic to the sun, so I get a bunch of red bumps on my on my arms. Like it, it looks like texture. It looks like um like crocodile skin almost. It's really annoying. And I get that when I have fast, hard exposure to the sun. So going from a climate that we have a winter sun that's not that strong or not as strong. And I have had gradual exposure to the sun, and then they go BAM into the big heat of Florida. I usually react. I always react. The only way to avoid that is wearing long sleeve. And I'm not doing that when it's 27 degrees Celsius at the Disney parks. <laughs> so um, I protect my skin as much as I can with sunscreen, but I still react. So that's why the, uh, the repair cream was so crucial as well to bring. It really helped my, my arms. Um, and then this too. Last item. Um, this is the sample size of the Agave Lip Mask by By Beauty. Love this stuff. My lips did something. I don't know what happened, but they went so dry around. I'm like so glad I brought this because at first I wasn't going to. I'm like, I'm not gonna live need a lip mask in Florida. So glad it saved my lips. For half the trip, they were all dry around, and then the rest after I applied this, golden. So, so glad I brought this, one of my fave products ever. So that's all guys, it's what I brought on my trip to Florida. Um, my skincare, my hair care, my makeup, I hope that you really enjoyed this. If you like it, please like and subscribe, come back for more, and I'll talk to you later.